Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. Now, in this video is going to be, man, I wish to God of all videos and all video titles I could have made that this would be a clickbait video. Although, uh, sadly, it's not. And this is almost a, I almost want to say like traumatic story. It's funny because it's my own story. But uh, it's almost like a traumatic story of how I've had probably one of the worst things that has ever happened in my entire life be happening in the background as I've been making videos and trying to live my day-to-day -day life. Now, to go and say that this has not affected my content is definitely a lie because I will tell you guys day to day to day, and even essentially when this happened, find up like around seven months ago, and it's still an ongoing issue of how I, weird to even say, lost $267,000. Jesus. It's, it's, it's weird to even talk about this uh, publicly. But I feel like this is one of those things where, number one, it's really good clickbait, I'm sure. I'm sure. But also number two is the fact that of, I almost want to have this as a heated warning out there for anyone who might be investing in new technologies or investing in things like cryptocurrency or whatever it may be to always have this in the back of your head. And as much as I wish this was a proper clickbait video, this is how I lost $260,000, pretty much my entire life savings. And as of right now, still have no idea how much I'll ever get back, if I will ever get back anything at all. And without a doubt, there is now crazy, I guess, callouts from over 40 different proper states of like state regulatory bodies of security commissions and unregistered securities and basically the really baddenings. I'd throw the F word in there if I could, if YouTube didn't demonetize me, of basically unaccredited investors, scam, Ponzi's, and everything all in between. And this is regards now to $267,000 of my own hard-earned money lost to the Celsius bankruptcy, which is, I'll explain throughout this video. So of all the videos out there, if you guys ever see this one, please leave a like, please sub if you guys are new. We do have a giveaway going on too as well, if you guys want that for like the $5 cash, just because why not? But uh, this is going to be one of those weirder videos to go talk about. So sorry for a longer intro. Let me try my best to explain everything going on over here because this one is a doozy. So I'm going to show you guys a profile over here. This is my actual individual account profile. Now, as you guys can kind of see on all this, as of right now on the very top of my portfolio itself, as of right now on the Celsius network, uh, basically I have my money invested in this one. It's USDC coins, which is basically like the one to one dollar peg coin for cryptocurrency. If you guys are not familiar, for lack of better terms, $267,000, $266,000 of that into USD, so proper USD dollars, and then around you know $1,000 in Bitcoin. Now, if you guys do not know, and you guys can probably read up on the screen itself, uh, this app is under construction in light of Celsius and certain of its affiliates having filed voluntarily petitions for Chapter 11 bankruptcy relief. As such, many services and features are not available at this time. For general information, please visit this website. And then as well, they also do have the Stretto case filing, which is basically a bankruptcy filing case over here where they have all the various things, such as like the court docket, where they basically have people going back and forth with all these lawyers, objecting to motions, objecting to all these filings, and objecting to everything all in between. Now, this has been an ongoing case now for a very long time. As you guys can see, there's over 70 different pages of dockets over here since literally July, as you guys can see, with all these different things, case points, and all of that. And this is where, unfortunately, I've had over a quarter of a million dollars of my money. And I'm telling you now at this point, we're pretty, always pretty much broke. Like, I'm trying to take light of this situation, but this has been probably one of the most taxing and awful things to do in the background as I've been trying to stream on Twitch and trying to you know, make YouTube content and all of that. Mainly because, well, this was my idea of me trying to go buy a home in the future. And in theory, I kind of invest into this because it would basically be loaning out your money to go and give you like a 7% income dividend, if that makes sense, which is somewhat of a risky business, but everything was over collateralized and everything else in between. Now, first and foremost, I do want to say I take full responsibility of this one when it comes to investing and putting your money into unknown entities or more like, say, like tech stock or whatever. Some certain tech stocks such as Netflix or other various uh, big companies, Amazon even itself, uh, have obviously done not so well in this current ongoing economy. And I don't want to say this is not like a pity party. I mean, maybe give me a little bit of a pity, like a little bit of a pat in the back, you know, just like give me a hug or something. But this is like me being like, oh, give me money or anything like that. Don't worry about that. That's fine. This is my own responsibility. And I'll gladly own up to it. Although I do want to say this probably has affected my content quite a bit. Like I do feel like the motivation to live life has been a little bit harder, but I'm still trying my best to truck on through. And I did try my best to never actually even stop a day of making YouTube videos whenever I've been doing this. 
But this is one of the saddest things out here because I want everyone to always be, I guess, careful. One thing when it comes to the Celsius Network organization, as I mentioned, is that they would basically would have billions of dollars of assets and they would essentially go and loan this out to other big entities and other big companies. So say a company needs a billion dollars, they would essentially use user funds, such as my, like, you know, $267,000, to then give that to another big business entity. And they'd be like, okay, we'll take that. We'll give you like 7% interest over time. And then they would go pay that same interest back out to someone else. Now, in theory, they were trying to go and market and state that everything was an over-collateralized position. So let's go and say you need a billion dollars from a big company. They would give you $2 billion, let's say Ethereum or Bitcoin or whatever. But as you guys have probably had a chance to go and see, there has been an absolute market shift and everything's gone to absolute downhill, both on stocks and crypto markets. And that was part of one of the big issues. But part two of this is that in all honesty, and it's hard to always go admit this, this may have also at least been a partial Ponzi scheme. Now, as you guys probably know about Ponzi's themselves, is where basically they just go and will give out people who are trying to withdraw all their money, just basically new people's investments. So let's say someone's trying to take out $100,000, I put in $276,000, then they essentially use that same money, I just gave them to then go pay out that same person, and then essentially they're on a net negative on my own account for $167,000. And this kind of a rough example for it. But as we've kind of gone through the news, there's been so much on tops of this. It's one of the bigger financial things where they're like the Celsius founder, Alex Mashinsky, pulled out $10 million of insider funds weeks before they were freezing these withdrawals and making it so people couldn't get their money out and before they go into their bankruptcy petitions. And as well, we've had other really big major issues too, such as other huge companies such as Tether, which is another cryptocurrency that was liquidating over $900 million of one of their loans, which essentially means that the company itself lost over $900 million. As of this current moment, I think they somehow lost over like 2.8, I think, billion dollars of user assets and liabilities, which is why it's currently in a chapter 11 bankruptcy case. I've been covering up this news a lot in case because I'm also bringing this up over here on my second channel when I've had a chance to, to do second bonus videos because obviously I've been affected by this and I've had a lot of folks ask like, hey, why are you even doing these? What are these videos that's going on this crypto news? And well, that's kind of why. So at this point, I have been probably one of the most saddest moments in my entire life. Now, this is one of those things that sucks. Like, I want to first and foremost go and claim my own responsibility. This was my own decision doing this. It's my own fault. And as sad as it is, it's just, it is what it is. But sometimes you have these situations out here when you see these big bankruptcies and fraud cases. Because as I've mentioned before, we have now been seeing court documents and also literally state, like, security boards saying this actually may have been huge fraud, or these people may have just been lying to customers, lying to assets. Uh, this man himself over here, Alex Machinsky, who I've gotten very personal with myself, is essentially one of the worst people on the entire planet, him and his wife. Now, when it comes to this stuff too, we've also had people involved with their working, claiming that there was a potential Ponzi scheme. There's also like frauds of hundreds of millions of dollars, which in theory should belong, belong to creditors, such as people like myself who still have their assets on this. And that's one of the things that was probably one of the most heartbreaking things for me, because when we came to actually investing into this, many of the other cryptocurrency similar lending platforms like this had rates even higher of like 9%, 13%, which is someone from a normal traditional background kind of knows that's very unsustainable, although in a bull market, things go a little bit crazy. As of the time of this actual bankruptcy, Celsius was offering 7.1. If you guys also factored into normal, like actual treasury bonds and other various like government bodies, some more even as high as 9.1% from government bad interest rates. And that's why you're kind of seeing the 7% or so, even current bank rates at around 4% or so, mortgage rates a little bit higher. If you kind of think like, oh, okay, it may not be that, that scary to go and see. But uh, sadly and unfortunately, that ended up me being an absolute idiot. And well, my funds are still on there, locked on in. And this is probably, like I said, one of the most heartbreaking things I have to deal with and talk about. But I figured if anything, I might as well mention it because, well, my entire life got utterly flipped upside down. As I mentioned, this money was just money I saved away as best as I can to also probably go buy a home in the future and just try my best to have it paid off cash. So if I ever did want to go and pursue content creation, YouTube or Twitch full time, I wouldn't necessarily have to worry too much about donations or bits or, you know, having to do sponsors. I don't necessarily love to do just to go make a quick buck. And well, sadly, <sighs> that didn't we actually, <laughs> the life never goes as expected as we always go and assume it would be. So with this, with all this case and all this fraud, we've had all these different types of things too as well, where it's even on CNBC, Fox News, et cetera, where- we also obtained dozens of internal documents with actual risk factor grading, low, medium, and high. Celsius was engaging in high risk strategies without mitigating downside. And this would align almost perfectly with their numerous different scandals, such as losing tens of millions of dollars through Stakeout, a startup staked Ethereum initiative. Celsius is connected, this, is, this has been forensically verified on the blockchain, 
Celsius is connected to all six of the top six holders for the Stakehound Ethereum. All of those wallet addresses tie back directly to them. And even just with that quick little thing over there, there's things where they're losing money in terms of like Banker, like them's losing money over from Tether for $900 million, trying to go in short and leverage the market. And they essentially were using user funds without their actual permission to essentially go and pay employees, to essentially go and have all these crazy loans, uh, decentralized loans and everything all in between. And sadly, I was caught up in this one with unfortunate timing over there where my assets were only on maybe on there for about two or three months total before I was actually declared bankruptcy. So you guys can always go give me a clap on the most unfortunate timing man known to man. Now, the whole reason why I'm making this video, I guess, is number one, just to finally get off of my back because this has been one of the most heartbreaking things that's been ongoing for the past six months and still has no clear exit sign whatsoever in the near future. But as well to kind of give an apology to my community for both YouTube and Twitch, because as I've gone through this off, it's very hard to go and hear this brand new news and brand new court documents and seeing lawyers going and costing tens of millions of dollars a month, if you heard that correctly, as I'm sitting over here trying to figure out what on earth is even going on and what I'm even doing next in my life. And for that, I do definitely have a big apology for that one because this is something that my own YouTube and Twitch community should not have to deal with or ever have to worry about, but I do feel like having a negative nude, negative just mindset and having to have this in the back of my head throughout the past seven months has definitely affected my content more than, well, I like to go let on. And now I'm trying my best still and I'm trying my best to somewhat, <laughs> I guess, go in the realization this is actually is an awful, awful case going on for my own personal case over here. I just want to give a big apologies to my community for even having to go and hear about this or have that negatively affect my content as a whole. But I just want to give you guys a big warning. Please don't put a quarter of a million dollars into random cryptocurrency investment funds. In my defense, though, they did raise $650 million only a few months before from property equity investors. And they did have plans of going public and also did go and boast that they had proper reserves. So there was never any issues. And as well, the fact that they, well, once again, received $650 million and they somehow blew through that in about three months. So, um... Thank you, Canada Pension Fund, for literally losing money yourselves, because I kind of trusted you guys on that one. And as well, thank you guys for watching my video for me ranting, because I will probably keep on crying myself to sleep as this keeps on going. But I will keep on trying my best to make good content and put on a nice happy face for this one, because this is all, although very traumatic, and I wish I would have bought a hot tub instead. If anyone can go and take some word of advice off of me and trust yourselves and be a little bit more careful on your investing, whether it's for stocks, investments, loans, homes, or whatever it might be, please maybe go and do that. But uh, don't get involved in Ponzi schemes like me. Don't go and trust Celsius. And at the end of the day, uh, maybe go and maybe spend your money on a nice vacation and go to Hawaii instead, instead of letting all these random, weird, crooked CEOs and tech firms take all your money instead. But very weird video to go and talk about. I'm not sure why I did, but I feel like I almost need to get this off my chest because God only knows what is going to happen to me in the future. <laughs> I love you guys all. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, and... I don't know what else to really say, but just don't be dumb like me.